guys like it. This is the shirt version of the sweater. I'm loving it. Hey guys, it's Tanya here. Thanks for watching. So today I am filming a Monday's Marvelous or Mundane. Not a very big jump, not a very big basket for you guys today. And no mundanes. If you like my mundanes, there won't be any in this video, so you can stop watching now to save yourself some time. But if you want to know what I have been absolutely loving this month, then stay tuned. So let's start with a couple body products. The first one is the Pacifica Tuscan Blood Orange Body Butter. I'm loving this. I can't even explain to you guys how much I am loving this right now. The scent, it's the blood orange. Something about summer and blood orange for me just really resonates. I got this one at, I think it was Target. I really love the Pacifica Body Lotion, but I also have a coconut one over there. But this has been the one that I've been using a lot. Instantly dries into your skin, doesn't make you feel greasy, really, really good body butter. This one is not makeup related, it's just hand related. This is the hand and cuticle stick from Julep. This is shea butter, it has shea butter and peptides. It looks like this, looks like this. And then you pop the top off. This is a brand new one because I finished my other one. There we go. Pop the top off and it's just a like cuticle stick, literally. So I normally don't roll mine up quite that much. I just kind of give it a little roll and then I'll just apply it on the outsides of my cuticles like this. And sometimes it'll leave bigger chunks. I just go back and I kind of rub those in. I find this has really made a difference with my cuticles. Not that your cuticles are really... I guess some people might have a cuticle issue. I don't really. I generally have pretty small cuticles naturally. But just to get rid of that last little bit, make them really soft so I can keep pushing them back, I really am loving that. The thing I want to show you guys that's not completely makeup is a brush and then everything else is makeup entirely. So this is the Real Techniques by Sam and Nick Chapman. And this is the Expert Face Brush. I talked about this in a drugstore haul. I'm loving this brush. It's kind of almost a rectangled shape and it's very dense and it doesn't really move. I've been using this a lot for cream product, cream bronzer, cream blush. I've also been using this to buff up my foundation, buff in my concealer. This is like a multi-purpose all-in-one brush and I'm really, really liking it. I actually bought two of them and I'm really glad that I did because I've been using them so much. It's made it a lot easier than washing this one every time I use it. Okay, on to makeup. Let's start with cheeks. Well, I guess we can start with anything. I've been having a real peach kick now that I look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven products. Seven out of the ten products I'm about to show you guys are all in the peach tone family. So clearly I'm having a peach kick this month. The first is a blush from City Color from the City Color line, and this is one of their B matte blushes in the color Fresh Melon. So it's just a really beautiful matte peach color. I really love this one. This is actually the least powdery of all of the B matte blushes I own. They are super cheap blushes, so some of them are a little bit more powdery, but this one is just stunning. Smooth, creamy, look at the pigmentation. You can't get any better than this. Next we have a brand new blush from Essence. This is from the Beach Cruisers Collection. I've been focusing a lot more in kind of this area of this blush. It is a ombre blush that goes from light as peach all the way to kind of almost a berry tone. But I've just kind of been staying in this end. I really love this color. Again, another super pigmented blush. It's almost a little bit lighter than Fresh Melons as far as orange quality goes, but I'm really loving this. It's all been all about the coral blushes, really. The one I'm wearing today is actually Clinique's Peach Pop with a little bit of the next blush I'm gonna talk about over it. But this is Clinique's Peach Pop, and this is one of the flower brush blushes. These are so silky and so creamy. I love these blushes. And these ones give off quite a bit of shimmer which is one of the main reasons why I really like them. They also last a really, really long time. So, you know, if you're looking for one of that, so that's the top swatch there. Now the next one is a product that I'm actually gonna be reviewing in an upcoming video, so stay tuned for that. But I wanted to show it to you guys because it's basically been the blush I've been wearing for the last almost two weeks, and this is the Makeup Geek Blush in Romance. This reminds me so much of NARS's Orgasm, you guys. It's so beautiful. But I would say it's a little bit more peach and a little less orange compared to that. Gives off a gorgeous kind of goldy peach sheen. I really, really love this blush. That's Romance from Makeup Geek. And then the last blush I've been wearing a ton. You can tell it's been all about blush. I actually am not even wearing foundation today. I'm wearing a little bit of concealer and blush. So the last blush I've been wearing is the L'Oreal Visible Lift Color Lift Blush in Coral Lift. You guys can see the dent I have put in this one. I've used this one so much. 
And you guys know I have so many blushes that for me to get even kind of a dent in one is kind of a, a, a small victory, I would say. Yay, team. This one does require a little bit more buildup. It starts off as a really, that's it over there. It starts off as a really light wash, and then you have to kind of sort of build it because it is this cream foam texture. You have to build it to get a really nice peachy color out of it, but it's stunning, and on the cheeks it looks so good. And it's been literally all about cheeks this month. While we're on the peach kick, let's talk about this. This is the Pixie, it's called Shade Quartet in Shades of Peach. This has been one of my go-to eye products this month. It has these four stunning peachy shade eyeshadows. Everything from the lightest, shimmeriest light. It even has a matte color in it. It has a couple more satin finished, and then it has one really matte. These are very wearable, very soft colors. But they create a beautiful everyday look. As you can see there, you can really get some nice color payoff out of a lot of these. And I've been wearing these with my next favorite, which is the Mooncake Pro Longwear Paint Pot from MAC. And this just creates a gorgeous kind of peachy gold base, I find. It's just a really pretty color. That's it right there. It's also very shimmery, but I find that when you put this under anything, you get a gorgeous, already kind of champagne-y, peach-toned base. And then when you lay your eyeshadows on top of it, it's just stunning. So those two together have been one of my favorites. Last eyeshadow product is actually a new Makeup Geek pigment. This is the one I'm wearing on my eyes today. This is more of a copper than a peach. It has a little bit of like a, almost a rust tone to it, so it definitely is in the orange family. But it's the Makeup Geek pigment in Birthday Wish, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch it for you. That's what it looks like on the back of my hand there. Can you see how stunning this is? So this is Birthday Wish, I've been loving it. For anyone who doesn't know, my birthday was July 7th, so it was in the month of July. I've really found myself kind of like, I don't know, I don't know if it's the weight loss or if it's just that I'm just feeling good. I've really found myself wearing not more makeup lately, but wanting to get more dolled up. I, I guess that's the word I want to use. I have been recommending this eye, eyeliner to everybody that I know. It is the most beautiful peachy color, kind of like a peachy nude. Makes your eyes look huge and it's one of my favorites and it's super cheap. It's Rimmel, drugstore, super cheap. And the last four products are all lip products and they're all again in that coral family. I don't know what's going on with me this month. It's been a lot about coral. The first one is the Too Faced Juicy Melons Lipstick, La Creme Lipstick. This is what I'm wearing right now, but that's a hand swatch. I love these lipsticks, so creamy, so smooth, and so pigmented. They are probably some of my favorite on the market. Then we have my YSL number 12, which is a gorgeous kind of pink tone coral. I wore this quite a few times this last couple weeks. I just love it. I love the YSL lipstick formula. I find them so creamy and so easy to wear. Beautiful. So that's the YSL on the top there. And then I have my BH Cosmetics in Coral Escape. This one got damaged out in the sun the other day, but I love the color. Again, it's that pinky coral color, but it's so wearable. Beautiful, beautiful lipstick. And then the last one is a gloss, and this is number 202 from the L'Oreal Paris. I forget what these are, the gold packaging with the color on the front. Uh, it's called Coral Encore, which is a beautiful, again, pinky coral color. I'm really, really loving this color right now. I, I don't know, it must be my power color. So that is the gloss there. So that's it guys, that is all of my favorites for the last couple weeks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I also hit over a thousand subscribers in July, which I think is amazing and I'm so grateful to all of you. So thank you guys so much for loving this channel, for supporting me and my videos. I really, really appreciate it. I look forward to another year because I kind of start my year in July when my birthday comes. I know it's a little weird, but I look forward to another year on YouTube and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye. Hey, we play. Like our room, it's our life We